good evening participants we have reached the 14th day as i don't know i thought uh, the day one i commenced i started and uh, finally we have reached the 14th and we have a very good uh, eminent resource person today dr p murugan murugan sir yes ma'am ma'am yeah i'm there ma'am okay, i'm available yeah so sir is working as an uh, assistant professor in school of management studies and assisting the center for uh, digital learning training and resources as a, as an additional director at university of hyderabad before joining uoh he worked as a data analyst at the australian council for educational research in new delhi and the national institute of technology tirupalli he has a passion for research and he has been a resource person for more than 170 workshops and fdp programs held at many universities and b schools in india example anna university chennai iit mumbai spj imr mumbai nit trichy his expertise lies in the area of multivariate data analysis techniques mediation analysis moderation analysis structural equation modeling latent profile analysis and item response theory he is also familiar with the data analysis software such as mplus amos python or jsp spss blue sky statistics consequence and irt pro his papers were published in ssci abs and abdc listed journals during the covid-19 pandemic he has started to offer online workshops in the area of ict tools in education open education educational resources mooc course development process hr analytics and interacted with more than 10000 participants he has developed online lecture videos for three of the courses offered through the swayam platform really i am happy to uh, welcome dr p murugan sir like yesterday's resource person he is also one uh, eminent or very uh, what you can say he will uh, give you a content which will be more effective so how you felt yesterday the same way uh today also you will get the message from sir he is a very good resource person you can utilize him okay i welcome you sir for this uh, 14 day Thank virtual you. workshop and the completion day again they get the fruits today okay yeah. thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am uh, thanks to dr k v ramnathan sir uh, for the invitation and uh, yeah uh, straight away I'll start start with the session uh, let me share my screen i hope you can see the screen now uh, so for just one hour maybe for, for next 50 minutes what i'm planning to cover here is uh, no. conducting a literature review um let me go through uh, one or two slides in the initial phase after that i'll practically demonstrate how to perform the literature review as well as the role of literature review in uh, different uh, components of your uh, research paper or maybe thesis and then finally i'll also show you maybe for last 10 minutes i'll also show you how to create your citations using enode software so these are the components i'm trying to cover and uh, maybe last 5 minutes uh, we can devote it for q and a session because uh, again 6 o'clock converts you have one more session so we have really um, i mean uh, less time in terms of uh, covering this particular uh, content so uh, usually i used to do handle some of the data analysis session and this is something new to me but uh, during this covid time i have started to offer uh, this uh, literature review process and all uh, in different uh, occasions as well as in different programs i hope you can see the screen as well as hear me properly um so in simple sense what is literature review Uh, in general literature review is a summary of a subject field that supports the identification of specific research questions so if you look at any of the uh, thesis work 
in in most of the cases they used to do keep a separate chapter called literature review chapter and uh, if you look at the research papers they never keep any um, section i mean sub section called the literature review simply they used to do keep a section called after the introduction you will have a section called theoretical development or theoretical background or hypothesis development section but again if you go through the entire uh, paper structure here and there you will see some citation basically wherever you see some citation they are trying to reflect or they are trying to refer some of the past evidences that is available in the literature so that, that that's the way how you can look at the citations that is appearing on any of the paper or maybe thesis work and again uh, from the paper publication point of view there are different types of literature review papers can be written by the authors so uh, like a conceptual review can be done methodological review can be done even systematic review as well as meta analysis can be done even in those uh, aspects also we are trying to perform literature review so literature review is a generic concept but uh, wherever you are going to use literature review uh, for example in terms of writing the introduction or in terms of writing the theory development section or in terms of writing the discussion section or in terms of writing the method section it can be anything so um, i mean um, lr will play a, um, i mean a major role in terms of writing entire section of your manuscript or, uh, or maybe thesis work so that, that's the way how you can uh, understand what is literature review so in simple sense we are trying to summarize the past evidences or maybe past findings available in the literature and uh, if you ask me a question why do we need literature review or why we are supposed to conduct literature review or why we are conducting a literature review simple solution or maybe simple answer for this particular question is um in order to identify the research topic in order to identify the research gap or research question definitely you have to do the literature review and then the second point is identification of theoretical contribution when you want to formulate your hypothesis when you want to uh, uh, say something about the overall contribution of your manuscript definitely you need to start with your uh, literature review process and then understanding the theoretical concepts whatever may be the concepts or constructs that is available in the literature when you want to strengthen your knowledge on certain phenomenon or maybe certain concepts that exist in the literature definitely you need to do the literature review and then identification of the research methods so i'm uh, i mean um, i'm complete, uh, completely new to the um, uh, i mean uh, research process whether it is uh, management research or psychology research it can be anything and i don't know what sort of research methods they are using i mean different discipline they use different types of design and different types of research methods and so on for example if you go and see or ask some of the sociology researchers they they majorly use qualitative research approaches like uh, i mean ethnographic study or uh, grounded theory approach and so on but if you come and uh, ask some of the commerce uh, scholars or maybe management scholars they um, majorly say that um, they are using survey based research or maybe quantitative research and in most of the cases we use quantitative research method and um, now again by doing the literature review you will be able to understand which uh, which design is most uh, most appropriate to your research as well as which type of method you can also use it in your uh, study and so on so for all those details yes of course we need to do the literature review now what i'm going to do is um, uh, i mean literature review is well connected with the following points whatever may be the points which i have mentioned here so uh, everywhere your uh, literature review is well connected one is research question and then while formulating the research objectives also yes you need to look back the literature uh, when you want to write the theory development section or theoretical argument section part of the hypothesis development process is concerned even there also you are supposed to use literature review and then writing the method section there also to justify your research approach you may have to cite one or two references from the past literature and then uh, usually for writing the result section we never quote any of the old citations but there are some peculiar cases where we you, i mean we we also used to cite the lr but especially while writing the discussion section yes uh, lr that is literature review is playing a major role because you need to connect your research findings with the larger body of the literature so everywhere literature review is uh, playing a major role in terms of uh, crafting your research paper or maybe writing your thesis work so now what i'm going to do is uh, i'll practically demonstrate how to perform the literature review 
and i'll also take one or two example statements from the uh, one of the published paper and i'll also explain what exactly that particular statement reflects uh, with respect to referring that particular past literature and how the authors also writing that particular uh, statement in order to justify their argument or maybe in order to uh, uh, convey something to the reader uh, so when you want to conduct the literature review first you need to develop the such terms and then use the boolean operators like r and not and so on so these are some of the boolean operators you can use and then identify the initial sources so here i refer this identify the initial sources as godfather paper so this is the name i'm giving uh, this is my own definition only so when i say godfather paper so whatever may be the concepts or whatever may be the constructs which you are trying to use it in your research there will be a godfather paper sitting in the literature when i say work family conflict so uh, i mean there is a paper available in 1985 itself published by greenas and butel so uh, sources of conflict so that's the paper title so when you go through that particular paper you will be able to get more clarity on understanding what is work family conflict and so on so like that for everything for example social capital theory in academy of management review in 2000 itself there was a paper published it's a hardcore theory paper and when you go through yeah. that particular theory paper you will be able to understand something more about what is social capital theory and similarly you you um, i mean uh, read any theory paper or maybe you read any of the conceptual definition of the construct so there they used to do cite some uh, reference right so uh, that reference is nothing but the godfather paper which i'm trying to refer here uh, when you identify the initial source of reference i mean you will be able to narrow down your literature easily for example unless you identify the initial source of reference i mean um, putting boundary condition for your research is really difficult so for that reason only we are trying to identify the initial source of reference and then you can also read the abstract and then you create the summary statements and then you write the first draft and then you edit and rewrite it so this is what the entire process of conducting the literature review now uh, practically i'll show you uh, i mean uh, um, using scopus database as well as uh, web of science database how you can also use the search terms as well as what sort of insights you can also get it from the uh, literature review process so that is what i'm going to demonstrate now uh, for example uh, developing the search terms are nothing but whatever may be the concepts you are trying to use it in your research so you have to use that particular uh, terminology or that particular word as a search term basically for example here work family conflict can be considered as a search term what what to family conflict can be considered as a such terms for example the difference between these two terminologies are i mean in the past literature people have used this hyphen symbol as well as two symbol even they also kept hyphen between this work to as well as two to family so there are um, i mean different terminologies are used in the literature so using r function using r command i mean boolean operator you can also merge all those uh, uh, such terms in a single Uh, i mean searching process i mean whenever you are trying to locate the past references through web of science or maybe scopus database so uh, basically developing the such term is nothing but the concept or the study area or the study domain which you are trying to do it part of your dissertation process is concerned or maybe part of your paper publication process is concerned so that is nothing but such terms and then the second one is boolean operators you can use and for example when i use work family conflict and family work conflict which means that i'm trying to locate the papers wherever the authors have used work family conflict along with the family and work conflict if i use r either one of the keyword i mean wherever the authors have used work family conflict or family work conflict so it will call out the data from the literature wherever the authors have used family to work conflict or work to family conflict so that's the way how you can understand this and uh, you can also combine and with or or with and and then and or with not that is also possible there are some more complex boolean operators also available whenever the people are trying to do a systematic review especially meta analysis or maybe systematic review there you are supposed to use the sort of boolean operators in order to refine your literature review search process for example i am trying to locate the studies published from indian context so there what i can use uh, uh, the, there uh, uh, what sort of keyword i can use is what family conflict and india are indian population something like that i can also use 
So that's the way how you can use and or as well as not command while performing the literature review process. Now I'll show you uh, how to do the same thing with the help of Scopus database as well as the Web of Science database. Meanwhile, I'll also show you some more resources related to uh, connecting literature review process. So uh, this is my personal page. If you go to this resources section, so you have a section called literature review. So here uh, I just kept four of the key references. If you go through this four references, you will get better clarity in terms of understanding how to uh, perform the literature review or how to connect the literature review or how to write the literature review or review paper and so on. So for more details, you please visit my page. L let me share the link in the chat window. Probably you can also make use of this particular source. Not only, uh, um, I mean, I have prepared something related to literature review, even related to other topics also, there are some more, uh, uh, I mean, Wait, useful references are available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you mute your uh, mic, Professor Pushpa? Yeah. Um, uh, so there are references available here. Uh, These are all Academy of Management Journal, um, I mean, editorial comments. And then you have literature review, understanding, contribution, construct clarity, research question, theory building, factor analysis, regression, structural equation modeling, mediation analysis, and then um, moder uh, conditional process model control variables, common method bias, formative measurement, item parceling, scale development process, other references, why papers get rejected, academic writing resources, and then some other useful books which may which might be useful for the social science as well as management scholars. So you please go through this, uh, I mean, um, page content, you'll, uh, you'll be able to get more insightful references and this will help you to strengthen your research method skill, uh, maybe, um, I mean, beyond your current knowledge level. So for that reason only I'm trying to share this resource. So now let me go to the Scopus database and then I'll show you how to perform the literature review. So to use Scopus database as well as Web of Science database, one should have the subscription to Scopus as well as Web of Science database. Otherwise you will not be able to perform this uh, literature research process. Directly you can also use Google Scholar, but uh, there are some limitations with respect to Google Scholar because it is not identifying the articles that is coming from really top tier journal. I don't know, maybe some uh, flaw with respect to Google search engine. I, 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 may, I mean, I may be right or wrong, but you can also visit their respective website for downloading the papers like Elsevier or MRL, RCH or Taylor and Francis Wiley and so on. So directly you can also go there and then you can look for the papers that is also possible. So uh, I, at our university, we have a, a subscription to Scopus database as well as Web of Science. First, I'll show you how to perform the literature review through Scopus database and then I'll show you how to perform the same thing with the help of the Web of Science database. For example, here I'm trying to locate the documents. I'm trying to locate the documents related to work engagement. I'll use the same terminology called work family conflict. Now, if you click search, so whatever may be the papers published in Scopus indexed journals in the last, I mean, uh, 30 or 40 years, all those papers will be available here. There are about, there are about 8,121 papers are coming here. I mean, you have vast amount of references in the literature in terms of talking about work family conflict. Now you can also do the refinement. You can also do the refinement. The way how you can do the refinement is here you can add the keyword. That is one possibility. And then another possibility is while typing this work family conflict, what you can do is here you can add such field. So here you can use and or, or command or and not command. Anything you can use. For example, now I'm using and or maybe I'll use or family work conflict. So now the, the system will identify the papers wherever they have used work family conflict as well as family work conflict as a keyword. So same result only, I mean slightly different result I'm getting, but almost same result only I'm getting here. And um, yeah, when you use this and command, I'll, I'll show you, for example, here I'm using and command. So uh, I'm trying to locate the um, uh, papers related to linking work family conflict with career satisfaction of the people. So I'm just using 
career satisfaction career satisfaction as a keyword here and i'm using and command here now click search so wherever the people have used what family conflict and career satisfaction all those references you will be able to get it here so the reason why i'm showing this particular process here is in order to narrow down your research gap for example if you are trying to test the same hypothesis which has already been uh, well established in the literature means there is no contribution in your research or there is no contribution in your uh, dissertation work so in order to make some contribution i mean valuable uh, contribution part of your research process is concerned so what you are supposed to do is you need to identify the research gap so in order to identify the research gap this is one of the effective method or effective mechanism uh, the i mean um, you can uh, uh, with no time with no time you can identify the research gap for example i'm i'm trying to identify the gap i mean here wherever the people have linked work family conflict with work family conflict with um i'll, I'll use another outcome variable uh, just a minute family me, engagement yes ma'am sir how can you how can we get this page sir because when we are taking this one document author is not coming in our page ma'am uh, I'll, i'll share the scopus database link uh, in order to do this uh, search you need to have the subscription to scopus database ma'am please make sure that whether your university is subscribing scopus database uh, see UGC Infonet Consortium uh, at IGML University of uh, Hyderabad, right? This IGML okay. is nothing but our Indira Gandhi uh, library. Okay. So okay. we have official subscription to uh, Scopus database. Okay. So what if a college doesn't have a subscription? Can you, you will not be able to do this, ma'am. You will not be able to do this. Uh, alternatively, I'll also propose one more uh, one more method how you can also do the literature review using Google Scholar itself. Right, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So now I'm trying to locate uh, papers wherever they have linked work family conflict with the family engagement. Still, I'm getting 284 papers. Now I'm trying to locate something from Indian context. So here I can use the refinement keyword as India. Let me check. Are there any papers in this context? Yes, there are about 13 papers are available. There are about 13 papers are available. This is my own reference only. and then uh, there are other references also coming so this is a way how you can uh, quickly narrow down your research quickly you can narrow down your research with respect to understanding certain relationship or maybe certain phenomenon or certain concepts and so on so this is one of the effective way how you can do this literature review suppose when you want to uh, uh, import the metadata associated with this 284 papers what you can do is you can select this all and then click export so here i need bibliographic information abstract and keywords funding details other information and then here which in which format you want to download in csv excel file format i want to download and then click export and then click export now this entire excel file will be downloaded into your system this entire excel file will be downloaded to your system now if you open this excel file you will have the detailed meta information about the papers for example title and then uh, author keywords and then full author name where it got published how many citations are available so far that particular reference and in which country uh, it was published everything everything will be available here just a minute let me show you yeah so this is how you will get the entire citation data so this is nothing but this is nothing but title and then year source title volume issue article number page start and then page end page count cited by how many citations are available so far and then digital object identifier number that is doa number and then uh, I'll, i'll show you the keyword part um, yeah author keywords if you see this author keywords so here you will be able to see the uh, uh, abstract here is your abstract and then you have the and then you have the author keywords so with the help of this author keywords you will be able to do text mining or even you can also do bibliometric analysis and you still you can also narrow down your research by looking uh, looking at this author keywords that is also possible 
even there are some syntax are available where you can also split this author keywords and then you can do some content analysis that is also possible but if you have some of the social metric analysis tools in your hand that i mean that particular tool will take care of all those process you can do wonders with the help of this particular data but one of the major limitation of using scopus database is it will retrieve the papers uh, published only in scopus database i mean other than scopus database i mean other than scopus indexed journal it will not retrieve the paper that's the limitation for example you might be uh, looking for some papers published in local journals which may not be uh, i mean uh, uh, indexed by scopus which may not be indexed by scopus there could be a thesis available but that thesis may not be uh, published under the scopus indexed uh, publication so if that is the case you will not be able to retrieve that particular thesis so this are some of the limitations of using scopus now quickly i'll also show you how to do the same thing how to do the same thing with the help of web of science even to use web of science also you need to have subscription i mean you are i'm referring metadata as this particular information whatever may be the uh, uh, article related information you are getting here i'm referring those information as a metadata no, i'm not talking about the meta analysis here i'm talking about the metadata so i mean uh, uh, technically they say that this type of data is referred as metadata fine now i'll show you how to do the uh, i mean uh, uh, literature review uh, with, with the help of uh, web of science database so this is what web of science database and uh, the the service is previously given by thomson reuters now clarivit analytics is taking care of everything so here also i'm using the same thing work family conflict and here you can also add a row and family engagement i can also add one more keyword called india so wherever the people have used work family conflict with working sorry family engagement with the india so you try to retrieve those papers so from topic you search you want to do or from the title you want to search or from the all fields you want to search that also you can fix here for time being let me remove this india search and then now you click the search button you just uh, look for the papers there are about 662 papers are coming here there are about 662 papers are coming here now i can also refine this search by keeping india as a keyword india as a keyword now you try to locate the papers there are about 10 papers are coming here there are about 10 papers are coming here which means that only 10 papers are published in web of science journals so i mean uh, here the limitation of using this web of science database searches if the paper is being published in web of science uh, journals means that will be retrieved here otherwise it will not retrieve it here so that's the limitation of using web of science and this is my own reference only and this is a way how uh, you can also locate the papers with the help of this web of science database quickly i mean with no time you can identify the research gap which uh, key term or maybe keyword i'll also show you how to narrow down your research gap i mean I i'm giving this explanation in terms of connecting literature review in order to identify the research gap so how you can also na narrow down your research gap with the help of this uh, literature review process so that is the perspective i'm trying to project here can can somebody say some keyword can you say something uh, employee branding employee or employer branding ma'am employer er yeah employer branding right now i'll, I'll click search there are about 690 papers are available ma'am uh, can you can you uh, think about something like uh, whether you want to link this employer branding with any one of the outcome i mean if you have some of the possible outcomes in your mind please mm -hmm. let me know i'll also do the refinement here as um, for uh, uh, recruitment job satisfied sorry uh, okay yes okay Job okay, I'll, I'll say career satisfaction. Okay. 
now you can click for example here what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to understand are there any papers where they have used employee branding as well as career satisfaction or within the employee branding literature are there any papers on career satisfaction that is what i'm trying to locate here okay. so when i uh, type this career satisfaction and then if you click search so only four papers are coming here which means that uh, i mean if you go through this four papers you will be able to understand uh, uh, are there any reference where they have linked employee branding with career satisfaction and so on so uh, still this can be considered as a wonderful gap still this can be considered as a wonderful gap so here also you can export this metadata by clicking this export button and then you can also give this particular data as a raw data for your uh, uh, i mean uh, um, some of the social i mean bibliometric analysis softwares and with the help of that you can also create some relationship diagram and then uh, word coupling i mean uh, author keyword coupling and then uh, co-author uh, linkages i mean there are many more things can be done with the help of bibliometric analysis even bibliometric analysis can be uh, used as one of the research gap identification tool that is also possible yeah now excuse me sir uh, yes ma'am. Uh, uh, sir, uh, can you share that that web of science that link, sir? That the same page. Yeah, I'll I'll post it in the chat window. Mm -hmm. Sir, so, uh, while creating the account in web of science, um, same uh, we can also access or otherwise university access we need. No, you you need to have university access, ma'am, to do okay. this process. Okay. Okay. Sir. So if you don't have anything, if you don't have anything, what you can do is even you can also make use of Google Scholar. Problem with the Google Scholar is it will retrieve Scopus index journals, Web of Science journals, Open Access journals, and then thesis document books, wherever the keywords are used, those content can be retrieved here. That's the problem with Google Scholar. Now in Google Scholar, you can also go to the advanced search. You can also go to the advanced search. So here I'll use the same keyword called work family config and then and then here what i can do is see the uh, different options available here with the exact phrase work family config with at least one of the word work or family or conflict without the words for example if you want to refine something i mean if you want to discard something from the search you can give that particular word here so that's the way how you can also uh, locate it here and here you can also restrict the time duration even there also scopus as well as web of science also you can re restrict the time duration that is possible so now you click search so i'm getting close to 44 lakh 44 lakh 80 000 references here so that's the problem with the google scholar here uh, what you can do is what you can do is you open any one of the paper and then you see the definition of work family config and then you try to locate the godfather paper for example i'm trying to open this paper i'm trying to open this paper I'm, I, randomly i'm just opening some of the papers here randomly i'm just opening some papers here now i'll try to look for work family config definition where i think it's an image file yeah wherever they have kept definition keyword i'll i'll use yeah, see, this is value definition. Otherwise, wherever they are starting the explanation for work family config, you just go through that paragraph. There definitely they might have given some definition to uh, uh, define what is work family config. See. let me look for the definition so these definitions can be used wiki definitions sir so, sorry sir come again can we use wiki wikipedia definitions no 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 you can't use wikipedia definition because wikipedia content is created by people like us if you have wikipedia account you can also write anything in your wikipedia page so that means we can't even have the link to the wikipedia also so can we can't we refer to the wikipedia no, if you really want to refer something, 
yes wikipedia content can be referred in the paper but usually i mean those uh, um, information i mean whatever may be the type of information you are trying to refer it through wikipedia sources those informations are not trustworthy information that's what i'm trying to say so even the general like the general population of the country even that also we cannot refer so yeah for the, for those things yes you can refer for those things yes you can refer okay sir yeah so i know that for work family config this is the godfather paper greenas and butel 1985 paper now what i can do is let me look for the uh, full reference of this greenas and butel 1985 just a minute this is a godfather paper on work family config now i'll copy paste this title here sir how are you saying it is a godfather of the this paper sir how are you saying it uh, i'm from this literature and based on that paper because to define what is work family config they have quoted this paper and based on that logic only i'm trying to identify this paper as a i mean core reference paper but initially they have given the definition to define what is work family config this citation also 10730 yeah that's what i'm saying this is one of the core reference paper uh, published in academy of management review in the year of 1985 now what you can do is you can click the cited by 10731 cited by 10731 and within this cited by now you can look for the keyword i'm trying to locate some of the papers in the context of family engagement within work family conflict literature i am trying to locate are there any papers related to studying family engagement that is what i am trying to locate so i am getting close to 4330 references but uh, still you will not be able to refine this research so i mean uh, results so that is the reason i am saying you uh, please proceed further with the web of science or maybe scopus database in terms of conduct in the literature review even in uh, uh, google scholar also see here you are getting some option called web of science 3192 so which means that 3192 papers have cited this particular paper and those papers i mean 3192 papers are published in web of science index journals now it will direct me to the web of science database and there you can use the uh, i mean uh, keywords in terms of refining this particular search process for that that is possible now i'll show you just a minute i'm trying to open this web of science uh, database sir so this is another one also there is the web of science master general what is that sir uh, where sir the web of science only there are another one is also web of science web of science ah. group master general list both looks to be same sir no web of science database is similar to scopus where you are trying to locate the uh, article published in web of science index journals web of science master journal list is nothing but it will give you the list of journals which is coming under web of science indexing mechanism and uh, basically indexed by social science citation index and then uh, the science citation index and so on so that particular list you will be able to get it from this particular link master journal list that is master that is for journals and this is for papers yes 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 okay got so now i got the 3215 papers here 3215 papers here and within this search now i can do the refinement for example i am just typing family engagement as a keyword now let me refine this search sorry my system is taking some more time to refine the search yeah so i'm getting 225 papers so within this search i am trying to locate some references in the context of india just one second type india and then you click search so i am getting only three papers here so this is one of my web of science indexed paper uh, my own reference only 
and then these are the three references coming in the context of work family conflict along with the family engagement in the context of india so this is a way how you can quickly narrow down your uh, literature review process if you give me any topic and if you give me 30 minutes time or one hour time i'll be able to narrow down your research gap so i mean to understand this logic yes it requires a lot of practice as well as a lot of understanding but quickly you can also do your literature review process with the help of this web of science as well as corpus database this is one of the i mean easiest way how you can narrow down your research as well as how you can also narrow down your research gap excuse me sir Fine? yes ma'am Uh, sir, uh, first of all, when we come, sir, can you please give down this one in web of science, sir? Uh, first, as we uh, come to the web of science, uh, that yeah. the place now where you put the name, this one, family work. In that yeah, place, yeah. we have to put the keyword. Yes. Yeah. Then, then what we have to then then we have to means country wise. If we are want to do in, know in India, then we have to put India like this. Yes. Yes. So here you can give the employee branding and then okay. click search. Otherwise, and the India also here also you can keep India. For example, now I am trying to locate the paper, some mm -hmm. of the references related to employer branding in Indian context. So I am getting thirty-seven papers. Okay, so uh, makes sense, ma'am. Ah, uh, so 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 just before, can you please show that Raman that the uh, that we the place we plan uh, India. So can you please? And I am using and. If you use and, and uh, okay. Uh, uh, I mean, in Indian context, you are trying to locate this paper. If you use uh -huh. R, what will happen is wherever they have used the employee branding R India, those references okay. will be retrieved here. So that's okay. the way how you can understand and R R. Okay. So if we want to connect any one, add one more thing to employee branding, that where where we have to add with this this uh, here. Uh, whether only. you want to use R command or and command. No, no. Means I mean, uh, if I, um, I want to employ Brandy with something else, like this job satisfaction, any, anything else we want uh, to. For example, uh, job satisfaction. Okay. I'm like using job one. satisfaction and India. Oh, and India. So I'm trying to locate the papers wherever they have used employ branding, employer branding as well as job satisfaction. That too studied in Indian context. I'm getting only four papers. Okay. Sir. Makes sense, ma'am. Okay, uh, so that that link can you please share not this one before that. Ah, uh, this one, this one. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Please, sir. Ah, uh, sir, uh, how to uh, search a uh, uh, thesis research the thesis? Ah, uh, to um ah uh, locate the thesis, you need to have this ProQuest database, professor. So, with the help of this ProQuest uh, database, you can only search dissertation and thesis. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Any other questions? Any other questions? In ABDC, how can we search for? No, here we don't have any refinement mechanism like ABDC listed journal and so on. For that, you have to look at ABDC uh, uh, journals and then you locate the journal names, ma'am. Okay. There is no such criteria available here. Like refine the search only from ABDC listed journal and so on. ABDC is most popular in Australia, New Zealand, and Indian universities, ma'am. Not popular in Western universities and so on. Fine. Sir, how to uh, locate a good uh, reference uh, journal, sir? Uh, if you want to understand the top tier journals in your domain of literature, for example, I come from management discipline, ma'am. So there is a list of journal called the FT Fifty journals. Financial Times ranked uh, top fifty journals. So these fifty journals are considered as a really top class journals, ma'am. So if you are working with IAM and if you are publishing a paper in FT50 means you get 12 lakh something as an incentive, uh, in an average 10 lakh as an incentive per paper. So this is what the top, I mean, uh, top journals in management discipline according to FT50 list criteria. And another way how you can locate the top tier journal is. You go to Shemago Journal Ranking. So whether you come from engineering or management or 
commerce, it doesn't matter. So here, what you can do is you go to journal ranking, Shomagyo uh, Jr. Uh, dot com journal ranking. So here, subject area in which field uh, uh, your field of study, ma'am? From which field you are coming? Sir, finance. Finance, business management, and accounting. You select this, and then here in all subject categories, you look for finance. Finance is not available, but you have finance. accounting. Finance is available here. No, so second one, second one, journal of finance. No, second journal one, of finance is available, but here you can also restrict the search. Otherwise, you leave this search, and then here you you, you will be able to see the. Top journals in the field of business management and accounting, and uh, th this is all the really top tier journals in the field of uh, in general management. Now, interesting, sir. Also, how Fine. can we understand uh, the uh, good cited papers? Where can we find good cited papers? Uh, for example, I come from uh, work family conflict literature, ma'am. Based on the literature understanding, I'm just revealing this information. So there are papers. There are papers uh, uh, having a citation of three thousand, four thousand, and so on. Even I know the author names. For example, Greenus is Jeffrey Greenus is from Drexel University, and uh, he has devoted his entire career towards work family research, and he is having close to twenty thousand, thirty thousand citation in the field of work family research itself. So similarly, uh, another person, Gravers from uh, previously was with Oklahoma State University, now he is with Florida State University, and he is also one of the uh, top cited uh, author in this field. And then Don Carlson from Baylor University. So by reading the paper, I mean, keep on. They used to publish the paper. By reading the papers, I came to know that there's all the few authors. I mean, top class authors working in this field uh, called work family research area. And uh, based on this only, you will be able to identify the top cited papers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Another another uh, simplest way how you can locate the top cited paper is you go to Google Scholar. Just a minute, ma'am. I'll show you. Go to Google Scholar. You type the keyword. You type the keyword, and then here you will be able to see the number cited by 4,745, 2,000, 909, 2,000, 997, 626. If you browse the search results for at least two pages or three pages, you will be able to identify. So now you pick uh, wherever you got 10,000 or 5,000, 2,000 citations, you consider them as a top cited papers. Okay. Fine, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, sir. So I have my use... doubt, sir. My doubt, yeah, please, is, sir. Uh, um, apart from Yahoo Finance, what are the different sources of uh, secondary data, sir? Uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned, Provis is one of the major database. Uh, uh, Provost IQ CMA Center for Monitoring Indian Economy. So here you will get a really good quality secondary data and then World Bank data is one of the uh, I mean major database where you can also get a really good quality information Similarly, um, there are there are uh, sites other sites also. I think money control money control also provides some sort of data and then India stat India Stat is also giving some sort of data, and then um, uh, here you get yeah fin uh, finclusion.org. Fin here you get primary data co uh, collected by the uh, project authorities, but it is freely available to the general public. Here also you get some of the Indian related data sets, but basically it's a primary data only. I mean survey based data. But uh, even with the help of this data also, you can do wonderful research. There are some published references available related to this data source. And moreover, this data is freely available to the public. Sir, uh, what about the primary data, sir? Primary data? For primary data, uh, I mean, not much is available, Professor. You may have to collect it on your own. As far as my knowledge is concerned, this is one of the primary data and freely available to the public. And with respect to primary data, another data set is, I mean, larger data set is available here. Federal Employees 
viewpoint survey. Uh, this data is about uh, this data is about human resource management related concepts. I mean, the general survey conducted among the government employees working in U.S. government departments and uh, different uh, agencies. So you can also look at this data. Th this data is also again completely free to the public, and there are really top tier uh, journal papers also available where they have used this particular data set. And then this American customer satisfaction index. So if you go to this site, here also you get um, some of the data. American, uh, it's a primary data basically. And from this source also you can get some data. And the PISA project, have you heard about PISA project for education department people? Uh, you might be having some idea about PISA project. Even from PISA source also, you can get good quality data. Basically, it's a primary data connected. I mean, the survey connected among the te our test as well as survey connected among the school administrators as well as students. But again, this data is also freely available to the public. So these are some of the primary data sources I can refer here. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah, please, ma'am. Sir, sir, when we take the papers from uh, Google Scholar, every paper has not Scopus in this. Yes, yes, that's what uh, I'm trying that, to say. The uh, yeah, problem with the uh, Google Scholar is you uh, get everything. Like, a, uh, uh, like if you look at garbage, you hmm. will get good quality content as well as waste content. So that is what uh, I mean, Google Scholar. Uh, yeah, that uh, how can we say uh, we have can check that is corpus or what means we have we, because we have to need for literature review we have to take some as uh, means listed German standard journal no? Yeah, that, that's the reason I'm recommending you to use uh, Scopus database or web of science database ma'am. Okay. Uh -huh. Otherwise uh, for each and every paper uh, you I mean you need to go to the journal website and then uh, i mean you go to the respective journal web website and then you check whether that particular journal is indexed in scopus or maybe web of science and so on so that's the way how you can check it okay in, in google scholar nothing is available actually i made some suggestion to google by incorporating some of the features like a filter feature country wise uh, how we can filter the um, search results and then uh, um, Scopus index and then Web of Science index. Recently only, I think last two years only, we are getting that Web of Science category also in Google search mechanism. Prior to that, uh, they did not include that. And uh, some of the top tier journal papers also not coming from uh, uh, Google search process. Even this also have reported to Google. I don't know whether they are going to incorporate all those changes in Google Scholar or not. I'm not sure about that. There are many more things can be advanced in Google Scholar, but uh, I'm not sure whether they will be uh, able to do that. Otherwise, Scopus and Web of Science will raise a lot of objections and questions now because those platforms are commercial platforms. So can you please uh, once more show that the Scopus and how just how you take Scopus? No, uh, just yeah, you go to Scopus, ma'am. You go yes, to sir. Scopus, yes, and sir. then here. Just a minute, ma'am. You go to Scopus and then here you have documents. So here you type the search keywords and then you click search. Okay, sir. Fine, sir. I, yes, sir. sir yeah. The papers, which are good papers, I am not published in Scopus. But it is very relevant to the, our context, and we are okay. not finding. So, Professor, sorry, your voice is breaking. Sir, am I audible? Sir, some background noise is there at my at my end, sir. Ah, that's fine, sir. Yeah, please speak, speak sir. Uh, sir, good papers are not published. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. They are not even not indexed in the Scopus, but that is very reference, very very core to our subject and to our paper. Can we refer them? Hmm. No, you can refer, sir. I mean, uh, for example, there are some working papers also uh, uploaded in SSR and site or research get site, and then uh, even uh, in the respective author site also they used to do, upload the unpublished papers. Yes, for your reading and for your learning purpose, yes, anything you can refer it. There is no thumb rule like you should not go through those papers unless it is published in the Twitter channels. Can we use for references those papers for publications and Scopus Index? 
no uh, if you feel that that paper is conveying a really important message to you yes you can cite that paper otherwise uh, i won't uh, recommend you to include it but basically for uh, meta analysis and all i mean when you do the systematic review as well as meta analysis in those cases uh, people used to uh, look for some of the unpublished dissertations unpublished uh, research papers conference papers and so on so in those aspects yes you should you must consider all those references but for standard uh, paper writing process i mean as far as my knowledge is concerned uh, 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 if you still feel that that is going to play a major role in terms of justifying one of your argument yes you can cite it otherwise it is not required okay sir